Hey, good morning. It's Brad and Alicia, joined by a special guest on the phone line this morning, Leslie Thomas of Kamloops. Alicia, she's uh, the winner and was named the 2022 Tops British Columbia Queen. Now, Tops is an organization that uh, stands for Take Off Pound Sensibly, all about weight loss, Alicia. And what a great story, Leslie. You lost just about 80 pounds, didn't you? That's correct. 78.2. Not that she's counting, but (laughs) (laughs) 78.2. Well, Leslie, what does it mean to be uh, the Queen of British Columbia? You know, it's been a guess. Um, But it's also, I was thinking about that question. It's privilege that I don't take lightly because I worked very hard to get there without knowing that I was, in fact, trying to get there. Right. But um, I've had people come up and just say, wow, you know, that's inspiring. Thank you for now. I'll keep going. So it's a great honor with some responsibility. But I love it. I have a tiara. Oh, do you? I was going to ask if there was a crown because there should be. (laughs) Yes, it's gorgeous. It's sitting in my china cabinet. I see it every morning. Good for you. (laughs) I know a lot of people think, okay, weight loss, that's a New Year's thing. Right. Uh, Weight loss, that's a January 1 thing. But as we wind down the clock of summer and look towards the start of a new school year, some people, myself included, may be looking at themselves and saying, ha, I might have had a few too many beers and burgers this summer and I have a few pounds to shed. And Leslie, uh, it sounds like this isn't the the kind of crash diet that we're used to hearing about this program, is it? For me, uh, it's a life choice. I started it for two reasons. One, I looked at a picture of myself because after I retired, apparently eating was my pastime. That's right. fair. And I saw a picture of myself and I was so sad because I thought, oh my gosh, who is that person? And then a really close friend of mine said, oh yeah, I'm getting really serious. I'm going back to tops. And I'm like, I need to do this. And health-wise, I've gone off of one of my blood pressure medications. I've gone wow. off my acid me- reflux medication. That's awesome. You know, I can walk 10,000 steps a day instead of 1,000. Like, there's so many yeah. pluses. So are you doing, like, a like a crazy workout routine, or do you have something that's a little more <laughs> measurable yeah, and easy? I walk my dog. <laughs> that's a great workout routine. We go to the dog park. We do five or six laps. We're good. <laughs> Uh, and it, it can sometimes be, I, I mean, it's silly to say, but it can sometimes be that easy. But the hard part is being committed to it, right? Really, at the end of the day, Leslie, it just comes down to making the right choices and being accountable to yourself. Absolutely, Brad. Absolutely. I have to weigh in every Thursday and sometimes I'm up, sometimes I'm down. Right. I have a leeway. I can go up three pounds or down seven. So I have a 10 pound leeway. Okay. If I go out of that then I have to kind of work my way back into it and get reinstated. So I, you know, it's nice to have that leeway, but it means that I have to also be transparent to myself and say, okay, that birthday cake you just ate three pieces of, you know, like (laughs) you're going to see it next Thursday. But I don't deny myself either. Like we, our family is great for get togethers and potlucks and I don't deny myself. I just watch and change the rest of my day. Right. If you have birthday cake for breakfast, you're not having uh, chocolate lava cake for lunch. That's right. <laughs> right. Which would be a great day. I mean, but that's, oh, a, that's a power start to your day, man. I don't know how I'd be able to eat the second cake after the first cake. That'd be impressive. <laughs> oh, hey, chocolate's a food group. Leslie, do you have any easy tips you can share with us? As I'm sure some looking at the mirror, at themselves in the mirror close to the end of summer saying, huh, I put on a couple pounds that I'd like to lose as we head into the school year. The first one is believe in yourself. Look in the mirror and say... I'm going to do this. I can do this. I need to do this. This is for me. This is not for a boyfriend or a bikini. It's for me. And don't quit because, I mean, during COVID when we were shut down and weren't going to meetings, I still lost 24 pounds because I was determined not to go back to what I was. That's awesome. Well, I mean, I think that's the big thing is believing in yourself and sticking to it. Now, Leslie, have you ever been caught talking to yourself in the mirror? Be honest. Oh, my dog listens to me all the time. <laughs> that dog has some dirt on you, Leslie. <laughs> oh, yeah. <he's> <laughs> hey, well, thank you so much for taking the time this morning. We really appreciate it. Congratulations on losing nearly 80 pounds and being the queen of BC for 2022. And uh, any last messages to share with all of K Nation before we let you go this morning? No, just thank you so much for the opportunity and to all those people out there. Yes, you can do it. Take it one step at a time.